Hi all, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. Today, again, I have just another um, Goodwill haul, just a one-stop shopping haul, and I hope you enjoy it. Pretty little small trinket bowl or candy dish. It's Delph Blue, made in Holland and hand-painted. It's probably to the 60s or 70s. Pretty little pierced tulips around them. Wonderful condition, really pretty scene as you can see right there. Most Delftware or Delft Blue is painted in mostly blue and white. That's kind of their signature. Delftware has been around since uh, oh, at least 400 years. City of Delft in Holland originally started out as an attempt to copy Chinese porcelain and they soon started painting their own ceramics with Dutch scenes and styles. This is Delft Blue, and it's a less expensive ceramic than Delftware, which is still produced at the Royal Delft Company today. I'll be asking $15 for it. This is a mid-century Federal Glass Company, um, five and a half inch pitcher, one quart pitcher, in the star clear pattern. If you've been watching my videos uh, for a long time, I used to run into these a lot. I sold them all off. They're pretty good sellers. They have this really cool star on the bottom there. I think I said mid-century, 1950s, early 60s. They came in a bunch of different sizes. Um, they're, like I said, good sellers. I think I'll be asking about $10 for this one. In addition to the different sized square ones, they also made one in a round shape and i just want to show you right here Let's see if we can see it this right here is just a manufacturing defect which was pretty common back in the days it's almost like an indent was formed um you know why they were making it quality control wasn't as good as it used to be or as good as it is now back in the day but all in all a really good pitcher and nice shape great for juice or milk or water or what have you and again ten dollars for this pitcher Spencer Gifts, made in Japan for Spencer Gift Store. Anniversary, decorative, bicentennial calendar plate, as you can see right here, everything I mentioned. It's nine inches. It's in wonderful condition. I was drawn to it. Um, I like bicentennial items. I was a graduate of high school in 1976, and I don't know, just kind of caught my eye and I was able to see when my birthday was that year and uh, graduation and all sorts of good dates. I do not collect plates. I know a lot of people do. So this one is, an, again, great shape. We had a Spencer gift store in our local mall and I just remember it kind of being very dark and creepy, but um, this obviously isn't a creepy item. And they did make them in other designs for the Bicentennial. And uh, during my research, I noticed that they also made decorative calendar plates well into the 80s and Spencer gift store actually started out as a mail order company in New Jersey um, is when they first went retail in 1963 and I think they're still in business uh, to this day I think I'll be asking about ten dollars for this plate like I said great condition great graphics Vintage tissue paper. It's hard to believe that 2001 is vintage, but it's been over 20 years. Believe it or not, that makes it vintage. And I just love the pattern here. It's tissue paper, Christmas, Angels We Have Heard on High. It was made for Joanne stores. I believe that's Joanne Fabrics. And I think I'll just keep it, um, put it away for next year, and use it to wrap some of my gifts in. Picked up another decorative plate. This one very different from the calendar one. It's hand painted by Helen Welsh. You can see that in the corner. And it's just beautiful and wonderful condition. I guess they're daisies and violets. Bring it in a little closer. Super pretty. And I think I'm gonna be asking somewhere between 10 and $15. I'm not quite sure. I'll see what they're going for. These are ceramic limoncello shot glasses or cups. They're two and a half inches, they hold an ounce, and they were made in Deruta, Italy. 
Pellini, you can see right here, the name on there, Pellini. That is the name of a limoncello brand. And these were part of a gift set. That's what the other side looks like. It came, the gift set came with one bottle of limoncello, which is one of my favorite liqueurs of all time. Um, on another note, a friend of my sister's actually made homemade limoncello, and I really miss that back in Connecticut. Anyways, the set came with one limoncello cup, both sides right there, and a bottle of limoncello. Really good sellers, the cups. I wish I could have found more of them. I'm going to be asking $20 for the two of them. This is a four and a half inch crackle glass mini pitcher, also called window glass pitchers because, you know, they were little mini things you could just put on your windowsill to catch the light. And they're really, really pretty in the light. This one's yellow. And I think it was made by the Pilgrim Glass Company because of the handle here. It reminds me, this was applied, the handle, and it reminds me of the Pilgrim Glass ones I have seen. There were a few other companies that made them. They were very popular back in the 50s and 60s. I do believe this to be Pilgrim Glass. 1949 to 2002 is when the company was in business, <clears throat> excuse me, out of West Virginia. And they were hand blown. Um, there's a round pontal at the bottom. It's really hard to see, but it's there. And the ponto mark um, is caused by when the blow tube or the rod was broken off from the piece which was being hand blown. That's how you know it was hand blown by the ponto. You can also see right here it has a really pretty, or I hope you can see it, there we go, crackle pattern to it. And crackle glass was made by dipping hot glass into cold water, then reheating it again um, to smooth out the pattern. You can't feel it, the pattern really on the inside or the outside, but it's there. And they're pretty popular, they're pretty common. I've collected them for a while. I've given most of them away or sold them. I'm gonna be asking $10 for this one right here. Great condition, no chips or cracks. I don't know why, but I run into a lot of Princess House Fantasia down here. This is a Fantasia medium canister. It's nine and a half inches from the top and uh, six and a half without the lid. You can see the lid is in really nice condition. It fits really well. Fantasia has a very pretty poinsettia pattern to it. Came in clear, came in a bunch of colors. This one um, was produced, well, the pattern was produced starting in 1965, still active. This canister though, being a number 5214, is retired. Be asking about $16 for the canister. This is a Italian hand-painted ceramic mini creamer or pitcher. It's four and a quarter inches. It was made uh, in Vietri, Italy. Vietri Solmar is a town in Italy that it was named after. They've been making uh, ceramics. They're known for their ceramics since the 15th century, so um, for a very long time. You can see how adorable this is right here, the hand paintings. I've seen the same picture with other designs on it, and I just, they're just cute as can be. This one has a tiny little chip on the inside rim. Uh, I don't know if I can get a good picture right there. No big deal. I still think I'll be able to sell it for about, I don't know, I think any, about $15 somewhere in that range. This little beauty cake plate, it's a low cake stand actually, was made by the Pistoria Company between 1949 and 1976 in the Heather pattern. And I'm gonna hold it up for you to see how pretty it is here. Let's see if I can get a better look, get, get a better look for you. The pattern is um, etched underneath and the top is smooth. It has the original sticker on it, probably a wedding gift as Pistoria was known for their wedding line, sold in department stores. And they were made, um, most Fastoria or all etched Fastoria pieces were made on a blank. This is called the Century Blank right here, and it's a number 2630. It's part of the Elegant Glass category. Elegant Glass was made during the Depression years, Depression years, and to be part of the Elegant Glass as opposed to um, Depression Glass, which was mass produced, Elegant Glass had to be at least partially handmade 
and these were etched, so that puts it in the elegant glass category. I'm gonna be asking $22 for it. This is a beautiful little berry bowl. It's three and a quarter or four and a quarter, sorry, part of a set and it's pressed glass with a nice sawtooth rim here in the pattern. Get a good look at it. It's called thistle, actually Canadian thistle. And the etching is on the underside and it is raised right here as opposed to the inside, which is quite smooth. And the funny thing about this is when I saw it, I got super excited. I'll hold it up while I talk because I thought it was Bryce Hybe Glass Company, 1900 to 1915 in the Delta pattern, um, which is identical to this. Had it not been for the Ellie Smith label on it, um, I probably would have gone with Bryce Hybe. I'm glad I saw the label. I wasn't aware that Ellie Smith reproduced a pattern in 1969 to 1980. And you might be wondering what that mark was that you saw right before this piece. And it's really hard to see, but it's right here and it's a B. And uh, the B mark, there were three different B marks used. And the B mark was used all the way back to the Bryce Hybe Glass Company also. This B mark dates it to 1969 to the early 1970s. I'll be asking $10 for the bowl. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been doing some cleaning around here lately and I found a couple of boxes, I think, there were three all together that I brought down from Merritt Island a few years back and uh, I opened them up, was surprised what I found. It's all pretty thrifted and I'm gonna do a video on that next time. So we'll see you again real soon. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, leave me a comment. Bye. <laughs> Look at it, it's really super pretty. It has these gorgeous little um, tulip cutouts there and all in all good shape for no, 1976 I mean I put them in their window to catch the light and uh, they're really good up there but really hard to see and it's on the inside so I don't think I'll have any problem selling it gee crumbs